I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. You cannot teach a man anything, you can only help him find it within himself. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. It is a beautiful and delightful sight to behold the body of the moon. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Measure what can be measured, and make measurable what cannot be measured. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them. See now the power of truth. The same experiment which at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, assures us of the contrary. Names and attributes must be accommodated to the essence of things, and not the essence to the names, since things come first and names afterwards. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go.
Philosophy is written in that great book which ever lies before our eyes. I mean the universe, but we cannot understand it if we do not first learn the language and grasp the symbols in which it is written. We cannot teach people anything, we can only help them discover it within themselves. They seem to forget that the increase of known truths stimulates the investigation, establishment, and growth of the arts, not their diminution or destruction.